Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. You could just do it in one spot. It would work, and then it wouldn't, and then if you shift it a little bit, you could get it to like do that weird I don't I can't even explain it. It's like it's it's almost like if if we were like eight feet apart and I talked, but it sounded like it was right behind your ear. Like Yeah, it was, it was super right weird, there. just the way the echo worked in there. But it didn't just stay, like it would kinda you know, if you did, moved it would go away, you couldn't get it again, you'd have to EM, shift around. EMF go fucking any wonky around there. Why n- yeah, honestly I, I don't know if we didn't, once, didn't really have once it they out. told us to put it in the backpack, I never pulled it back risk. out. Yeah, that's yeah I just I was like, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, we just had audio. I'm a huge, huge person. And then we wandered around the whole basement. <laughs> we wandered at the whole basement, and then we seen this, like, kind of a – he looked a little official, right? He came out of this office. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. He, he looked sketched out to see us, too, at first. He yeah, was like, he was like, what the fuck? So I was, like, I was like, oh, we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, you even asked. You're like, are we supposed to be down here? He's like, ah, oh, no, it's all good. Like, this explore wherever. And we're like, all right. Yeah, sure. But then we asked him, like, hey, can we ask you a quick question? And he's kind of, like, walking away. Like, you can tell he's in a hurry. He's like, ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. He's like, what can you tell us about the hauntings of this place or something along those lines? Yeah. Ooh, he and he's shut instantly down. shut down. It's like, oh, no, no, I can't, I can't. Sorry. He he started walking away. He did. He started walking away. And then he did the, well. well I know, I I work with this guy and he used to tell me these stories all the time, but, but you know, he's retired. Uh, I know I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but uh, yeah, there's like, there is a lot of stories around here. Ah, uh, I can't talk about it. He's like kind of trying to walk away the whole time. And we're like, okay. Are you going to, and then he would just keep saying, like, ah, nah, ah, nah. You know what? You guys just have fun. You go explore wherever you want. If the door's open, you can go. And we're like, hmm. Okay. It was. So that, that happened like for all afternoon. We were there for a couple yeah. hours. It was great. I would love like a late night tour or an overnight tour or something. Oh, yeah. That'd be sweet. And be allowed to like bring some equipment in. That place is fucking creepy. Right? Yep, definitely. So yeah, we got we got some good uh, some good audio. I cut it all up. I I filmed. The, I recorded the whole time. So a yeah, lot. and I, I I did get some good video. So we'll we'll you'll see we'll, us walking around. And, we'll cut uh, a little bit uh, together. We'll edit it together in this live stream. Oh. It's weird. This is the most comfortable. All right, so far no lady in red. Oh, we got some. We got the dog. Um, not when that's around all those boys. So we gotta kind of find some. Oh, you know. Look at that guy. He was like, we'll lead in with like, is it hot? Any, any hauntings in here? And then we'll go. What about the lady in red? I feel like the lady in red will they'll know that we already know what we're talking about, and they'll be more willing to have a conversation with us. Red? No, I haven't seen anything. I just, I just, I have a feeling that if, they're. What everywhere. can you describe the feeling? Like it's just eerie like especially because we work here on the i work here on the weekend so like not a lot of people are usually here and it's just cold and like i don't know it just always feels off especially in that restroom over there really we always say Susie b haunts it who's Susie b <laughs> um uh, susan b anthony so oh. just there's a big portrait of her um. so we're just like Susie b so it always feels cold yeah always it's She's always freezing haunted, especially when less people are here i feel like it's just colder is there any tours at night um not that i know of, but i know that uh, Especially on, um, during the weekdays, they're open pretty late. What about for foreign diplomats from Canada? Uh, not that I know specifically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep, we'll keep investigating. Yeah, well, thank you. you very thank much. you. Of course, good luck. Thank you. Maybe All right, could so be the same person. All right, boys, there's only one thing to do now. We go back to the Airbnb, grab our proton packs, and come back. How do we get to Susie B's restroom? I don't, wow. Well, I don't think we can. I think wow. that's like... I think we might be able to go down. So we got Susie B. We got the ladies Excuse me, red. guys, but how do we take a dump in Susie B's bathroom? I heard it's haunted, and I only poop in haunted bathrooms. House. All right, we're in the. Where are we? The house. It's the house. House of Representatives. Like Green out there. Excuse me. Yes, sir. What do you know about the lady in red? The lady in red. This, this lady in red. Are you the ghost lady in red? No. Have you heard of the story of the lady in red? I have not actually. I've heard of the, uh, the lady in white up in the 
the dome, but I've been late. Who's the lady in white? There's someone had a wedding up here. That's what I've been told. And she and passed away like the day after, and so she still haunts at night. So, but I haven't seen her, and I've been here at night, so I don't know if I believe it. No. Until, you, <laughs> until I see it, though. Do you feel any cold spots in here or anything? No, not in here. The Senate, I do though. The Senate. Yeah. Other side. What uh, What do you see in the Senate? Whenever I go in there, I just get a negative feeling. I don't know if it's just the people in there or just, just the energy. The decisions that have been made. I think <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, we'll keep investigating. Yes, What's up, man? Can I ask you a question? Yes. Have you ever heard of the lady in red or the lady in white or any other haunted things about this place? I think the lady in red is supposed to be on the fourth floor. Okay. Oh, so we know where she is. So you see the glass up there? Yeah. It's supposed to be up there above that, above supposedly. That? But I've also heard somebody was on the ground floor west side. Ground so this floor is the west side. So if you go to the elevator and press G, it was supposed to be somebody on the west side. And people uh, see them more. The rumor was a uh, cleaning crew saw, saw it and just quit. Like took off running and quit. That's it, scared them right out of here. Right. Crazy. That was the one on the ground floor, I think. How long ago was that, you know? Oh, I'm assuming more than 17 years ago. Okay. Might have been 15. Have you ever seen anything personally? No. No? No weird feelings or yeah. strange cold spots? Nothing that stuck out. Nothing, but maybe a little, what was that kind of? Because right here there's a breeze always coming through for me. Some weird draft? There's always a draft right here. Because the building is built for a draft. Natural that's airflow. What, that's what those windows right there above the doors are. So oh, the whole okay. the whole building is built to circulate air. Okay. So, so if the main doors are open on the first floor, west side, west northeast, it's sucking air from every office and whatnot. Right. I guess it's probably built for central right. heating, right? Cool. All right, man. Thanks for your time. All right. So far, we got the lady in white, the lady, the lady in red, red, and the ghost of Susan B. Anthony in the bathroom. I mean, pretty much everyone we've talked to though has been like, I get a weird feeling in here. Absolutely, but like, I wonder if it's just, you know, the kind of like Acacian record, like, you know, with all the negativity that's just happened. Everything place, that's I guess, been it's just in here. Etched in here. And the history, like, think about it. How, do we know how old this place is? Have we learned that yet? No. It's probably built like. We probably should have taken a tour. There we go. Yeah. Probably should have taken a tour. Yeah. Hi. We just did a little tour on our own, but we were wondering, someone said that they do, uh, Haunted tours. We do during uh, during the month of October. We give not haunted, but rest in peace is what we call it. Okay. So of, of all the events that have happened around yeah. the property and stuff. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything or experienced anything? Not myself, but there are other living people that work here that have seen uh, seen things happen. Anybody that you could direct us to? Uh, no. Uh, well, you might ask some of the DPS officers. They've seen. They're here more hours than we are. Late uh, nights and, and one, one that most people, you're not recording me, are you? I am. Oh. I, I've been recording the whole tour. Okay. Is that okay? I, I can turn it off. Uh, just, uh, no names or anything. There's uh, one of the governor's wives died his first year in office. And so people think that that's who they've seen, Faith, Faith Stevenson, the, the wife of uh, uh, Cook Stevenson. Oh. He was... Lieutenant Governor, and so it's kind of like behind that hallway. She kind of, they saw uh, apparition, the, an apparition, and then they she just kind of went into the wall. They're asking about the rest in peace tour, or this lady does a, a great Austin rest in peace tour, <laughs> but she's like real busy. Keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing. Follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.